Good evening everyone, welcome to our evening service and as we start, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you again God, Satan and Lord nga, again, bless mo sa mon, Father, thank you Lord, because you never um, allow Lord, any one of us, Lord nga, hindi Lord mag mo, Father, thank you because you give us the heart, Lord, to listen, to be in your presence, O oh God, this time, Lord, kabay pang ikagig, mag-bless ng kadaisa sa mon. And allow us, Lord, not to live our life ignorantly. Si mga pulong, O oh God, so as not to be destroyed, Father. Thank you because you, your love, O oh God, is um, abundant sa kadaysa sa amon, Lord. It's only because of your grace and because of your mercy. Let your Holy Spirit be upon us and teach us, Lord, how to live our life, O oh God, in accordance to your will. Jesus, you may pray with the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen.
reading is found in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. It says there, He has saved us and called us to, to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of His own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. So let's pray. Lord, ikaw din mag-bless ng imo, Lord. Nga word ka by pa, Lord, nga. Many of us will understand it plainly, Father. And Lord, let your gospel, O God, be um, heard, good Father. Di lang, Lord, sang. Di lang, Lord, through our mouths, Father, but through our, our hearts as well. Thank you because you never allow us, Lord, nga madula si Muhammad. And kabay pa, Lord, that you will bless us and guide us as we have this moment, Lord, nga. Mga pamati, si mo na pulong, O God. Jesus, ni me pray with the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. So, um... Ang scripture text sa no, balilas ko siya dahil na yun nga i-discuss. And I would like first to focus on our main topic, you know, which will be back up sa scripture text uh, in the end. So, um during this pandemic and as we face another year, 2021, no, I believe yung damo-damo, you know, ang nag-change. Damo-damo ang um, naging, um, naging protocols, damo-damo ang nadugang sa mga rules na in life. And basically, no, the thing, girl, the very evident and obvious is um, pagsuksok sa mga um, face mask, face shield, ang paggamit sa alcohol, and ang pagdala sa mga bakla. And this time, no, I would like to relate it to our word this evening. So, ang first kid siguro nga I would like to share is our essentials in living our life right now. So, kita, no, as Christians, we also have essentials. Same as face mask, face shield, ng sanitizers, and as well as ang backlock natin. So, let's dig it deep one by one. So, first is the mask. So, our mask covers um, mostly no, our mouth and our nose, which is the entry point of the coronavirus. So, first, ang um, ginhambal ni God no, about sa mouth are sa James, Chapter 3, verse 1 to 12. So, medyo laba niya siya, no? But, we are, ano, we can learn much, good, sad, sinning a verse. In James chapter 3, verse 1. Verse 1 to 12. So, ang kasiling di, Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers. Because, you know, that we who teach should be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect able to keep their whole body in check. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal or take sheep as an example. Although they so they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder where the, wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boosts. So, ang tongue, no, even gamay-gamay lang siya, pero ang pa na siya, ang gabi magtikal. Or balang gabi mag, mag put up si mo na self to the point nga wala na si Lord sa picture. Pero everything na lang ganyan is all about you. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. And even sa mga quarrel, sa mga arguments, wala tood physicalay, wala tood spadahay. But ang words, ang muna siyang ginagamit to insult other people, to curse other people. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body sets the whole course of one's life on fire and is it itself set on fire by hell. So, mga times man nga, it creates division, it creates quarrel, it creates disagreement between um, a lot of parties because na, when you pass on a story or when you when you use your tongue, no, na, it could influence other people either to hate or love a person or not. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. So sometimes, no, nang hambal man ni God, diba? Out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaketh. So may mga times nga, because of our anger, because of our jealousy, because of what we feel inside, no, we can say words nga, maka-hurt other people. With the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father, and with it, we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. So before, you totally curse your tongue, no? It's also very beneficial to speak the gospel of the Lord, to preach the word of God, and to praise our Lord and Father. So, may mga times nga, kamo na it could harm other people, but it's something, no, sa paggamit mo sa iyo na Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. 
my brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a, grape, can a fig tree bear olives or a grape vine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. So as we live our life, as we enter another year, let's assess ourselves, no? What are the things that my mouth has spoken? Anong mga butang bal ang gagawa sa bibig ko? Is it glorifying the Lord? Is it building other people? Or is it senseless, senseless talk, um, evil things? Is it nang mag-glorify kay God or not? And if not, no, let's um, make a resolution over ourselves no, nga hindi na possible nga ga-praise sa kay God and ang tongue that is telling, telling um, something that could hurt other people. And in some chapter 34 verse 13, it says there, nga, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. So we have discussed it among youth convergence, nga, telling lies ng we thought it is just normal. But at the end of the day, bala, si Lucifer, Lucifer is a father of lies. And it's not, um, it's not something nga halin killer. And ang next tang item is ang face shield. So, the online selling na we're in Matthew chapter 5 verses 27 to 30. Nakasaling nga, you have heard that it was said, you should not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lastfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge, gouge it out and throw it out away. It is better for you to lose um, one part of your body then for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go to hell. So, um, adultery is one of the things that detestable did before kay God. And at times, we could, not, we could not know, but really, we are committed to adultery. Na, especially when, when, we, when we look at other people last for you the things that we, we view in the internet, the things that we view in our in our personal time. No, um sometimes no especially kung young people ka but I believe we even but na age range. But I believe no nga, it's not good um what God wants us to do. And in Matthew chapter six verse twenty three Nakaseling da nga but if your eyes are an if you are Eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? If we let it stay in our eyes, no, it will really affect our hearts, our whole body. Our eyes is very powerful and it could um, either inspire other people or it could degrade other people no, because of sin. And in First Peter chapter 2, verse 14, um, they can build no, uh, with eyes full of adultery, they never stop sinning. So it's one of the struggles, get nya, hindi lang basta basta. But it really would um, destroy ourselves. And in Matthew chapter 23, verse 25 to 26, no. Matthew chapter, Matthew 23, verses 25 to 26. Hustling that nga. Um, you blind Pharisees. Verse 25. So, nga building a. Uh, say so. Then Matthew 23, 25, 26. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and dish, and then the outside also will be clean. So, as we, as we, um, as we allow our eyes to be protected, yet, and let's not be blind as well. So, ang wag niya sa covers, mga nagbulig sa ano. In struggle, nga, hindi dapat mag-focus sa pinobra mo, but always focus what is inside your heart and in Proverbs which is it which is your heart kay kung mag kung per me lang binapractice mo siya because of other people nang indeed hindi siya mag last because nang 
in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Guard above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. So it's not just about do's and don'ts, but it is about the transformation of the heart. Di na siya makuha lang, no? Because you decide not to do it. But it should that it changes kaya ang matagi poson. Because if you could smile a perfect smile, pero pag abot sa problem, what really inside your heart will come out. And last is ang I third sanitizer. And a sanitizer, no, for me, depicts the forgiveness of the Lord. In Luke chapter 7, Verse 47 Therefore, I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, as her great love has shown, but whoever has been forgiven little, loves little. So those are forgiven much, we love much daw. And kabalogit ko nga budlay mag, um, mag, um, mag serve Taylor, if you are, you haven't received the forgiveness of God first. You need to um, allow yourself to be forgiven because God is in the ministry of forgiving us, healing other people through forgiveness, and even uh, making miracles through forgiveness. Without the forgiveness, the Lord, no, um, everything is in vain because this is not about our ministry, but this is about the ministry of the Lord. So we all need the forgiveness of God, kid, and it is the thing that washes us and makes us qualified to serve Him. And in Second Timothy. At the end, no, um, sa backtrack below, it could reflect our identity. Chapter 1, verse 9, as a verse to miss me. He has saved us and called us a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of His own purpose in grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. So, may mga moments sa kanya life nga, hmm, we neglect below si Lord. And our identity, you no, know, without God, is really a negadya. Um, wretch. It's very devastated. Yeah. It's only um, God who gives us the victory. It's only Jesus who gives us life. Only God who gives us the the love that that um, that makes us who we are right now. And He has saved us and called us to a holy life. This is our identity. This is our calling. Not because of anything we have done, but because of His own purpose and grace. It's always about the purpose and the grace of God, not because of who we are and what we can do. That's why as we transition to 2021, as we bring our, our identity, let's not forget that without God, we are nothing yet. Yeah. Let's always seek Him in our quiet time because even to Jesus, we actually have a quiet time. So as we end this um, preaching, no, allow ourselves to ask ourselves no, if we bring our essentials, our face mask, our face shield, our alcohol, and or backtrack, why can't we, or is it really import, or nang mas importante man di ba po niya, padalataman ang dapat ang adal on sa langit, which is eternal, gidya. and those are the things we can discuss ko earlier. So kabay pa, let's make it our habit man to bring those things, to um, repent about our sins, and to live our lives holy and pleasing to God. So let's pray, Lord, di ka gid maghahatag sa man sang grace, Lord, to live our life, O God, holy and acceptable before your sight. Teach us, Lord, to love you, to be with you, and to be, gu- to be guided by your Holy Spirit. I believe, Lord, nga nothing is impossible. Kasi mga sight, and it's only because of your grace, kid Father. Jesus, ni me pray with the power of your Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Lord, ikaw mag-guide someone, Father, mag-guide someone, Lord, sang assurance, Lord, that whatever is, um, Along our way, Father, you are already there, O God. Thank you because you never left us nor forsaken us, Lord. In times of need, in times of doubt, you are that light, you are that um, hope, Lord, in our hearts. Kabay, you will bless our families that we represent, O God. Provide for our needs, O God. Bless, Lord, si Pastor and his family for the whole Fit Pit and Church and for all the believers in this world, O God. Kabid magasyantan someone, Lord, magasib someone, and allow us, Lord, to yield in your Holy Spirit, good, O God, and, to, and, and into your Lordship, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray with the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. So, Church, God bless us all, and hope to see you next Sunday.